always said that you would be on your gravestone would be, here lies the man who didn't win the Grand National. Yeah. What happened? Well, I've looked at the film many, many times and you see Devon Locke sort of prick his ears as he was approaching the, the outside of the water jump. The first time round we jumped it. The second time round you don't jump it. You go up past it to the winning post. And you see Devon Locke prick his ears as a sign of recognition. He was here the first time round. And as he pricked his ears, the crescendo of cheering which had built up was it frightened him. God, what's that? And his hindquarters just refused to act. It, it, you, I've never heard a noise like it that day. It was absolutely terrific. I was, that was the start of the, uh, the writing there, wasn't it? Yeah. Lots of people ask us, how, how do you write? I mean, it's the one question that everybody as far as I can see, he gets asked who, who writes. It, taking Silks, for example, the latest one, we write on opposite sides of the Atlantic. He lives in the Cayman Islands, I live uh, in England, and someone has to take control of what's happening and what and who's doing what. And we, that has increasingly become me. And Silks is fundamentally a dictator. Francis novel. It is set in the world. It is uh, the style is is Dick Francis. It may be a, it may have Dick Francis and Felix Francis on the cover, but it's a Dick Francis novel by both of us, and uh, and we hope we'll continue in that process for a long while to come, don't we? I hope so. I'm very pleased that Felix's name is uh, more probably just as just as obvious as mine is. Having my name on the cover, alongside that of Dick Francis, is the greatest honour that any man could ever have. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.